Hey, what is going on guys and girls? In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create an Amazon Roundup affiliate blog post using Harper AI and ChatGPT. Let's go ahead and get started. So the main reason why you would need to use Harper AI in addition with ChatGPT is that we all know the limitation of ChatGPT. You cannot get information past 2021. So if you combine Harpa with ChatGPT, then you can go ahead and extract some of the main information from the Amazon products that you want to include within your article and then plug that into ChatGPT and have ChatGPT write the article using that information. So let's say, for instance, we wanted to write an article about the best wireless headphones, right? We can go to ChatGPT and write the content, but again, it may not have factual or up-to-date information. And if you want to um, write about specific um, products that are new, then you wouldn't be able to do so with ChatGPT, especially if it's newer products. So what we can do is we can head over to Amazon, search up the keyword in which we're trying to create the Amazon affiliate round of blog post for, and we can select that headphone. Then we want to go ahead and open up the Harpa AI extension. If you haven't downloaded it already, I'll leave a link in the description below this video. So once Harpa is launched, we are going to um, grab the text from this page. So we can see here that um, Harpa has grabbed all of the text from that page and we're going to give it a um, unique prompt. So the unique prompt in which I entered was extract all of the most important information from this Amazon product, including the price, specs, customer reviews, and anything else important to making a buying decision. Okay, so once we've entered that prompt, just go ahead and click enter. And as we can see here, Harper AI should pull all of that information from this Amazon listing. Okay, so this is the information which we got back from Harper AI. Pretty good. We get the product, we get the price, the specs, the features, the customer reviews, and we get some other info here. So let's go ahead and copy this. And we're going to open up ChatGPT on the playground mode because this is what we'll be using. Um, I find that you're able to get much better outputs using the playground mode. And we're going to tell the AI what type of content we'll be creating. Okay, so the prompt that I've used within the system is we'll be writing an informative and in-depth Amazon Roundup blog post where we compare various products to inform buyers in which product may be best suited for them. So are the products and below that we will paste all of the product information that we get back using Harpa AI. So that was just the first wireless headphone. Let's go ahead and do the same thing for another headphone. Okay, so we'll be doing the same prompt for the Beats Studio 3 and I probably should have saved that prompt. So we'll probably have to do it again. Actually, no, we can just go ahead and copy it here. Then again, we're going to grab the page text. We're going to enter the same prompt and click enter. Okay, so again, here is the information that we get back about the Beats Studio 3. We get the color, the pricing, the specs, and some of the key features. And again, we're going to paste this into product number two. And when it comes to pasting in information in your system, you want to be very careful because this can really send up your token costs. So you want to remove anything that you are not using within your content. So again, I'm going to do the same thing for another wireless headphone. Let's go ahead and choose another one here. And again, we're going to launch Harpa AI. We're going to grab the page tags. We're gonna paste the same prompt and press enter. As you guys can see, this makes your life so much easier because you don't have to even run all of this content into um, ChatGPT. You can just use Harpa AI. It saves you a lot of money and you just get the key information that you can use within your articles. So again, we get some key information here and we're gonna name this product number three. Okay, so now that we have all of the information from our products, let's go ahead and see how much words um, this is. Because again, the more the words are, the higher um, the cost will be. So we have about 60, 688 words, which is not too bad. We can probably go ahead and enter one more product. So again, let's go ahead and do the same thing. And we're gonna get some key information from this product listing. Okay, so we get the specs, the pricing, and the color of this specific product. Now let's go ahead and copy this over. So the first prompt in which we'll be using is using the information provided, create an in-depth and comprehensive Amazon roundup blog post where we will be comparing the various products provided. Make sure to include every single question and topic a person would have for this blog post. The reason why we're generating our outline first is because I find that you're able to get much better outputs when you follow this method. So again, we'll be generating an outline first. So let's go ahead and um, click enter and see the outline which we're able to get back. Okay, so this is the outline in which we're able to get back. And as you can see here, it's pretty in-depth. We get the intro, comparing product specs, individual product analysis, and we get some sound quality comparisons, battery life and connectivity comparison, and so on. So that is the outline. Now what we're gonna tell the AI to do is using this outline, write an in-depth and comprehensive full blog post comparing these products on Amazon, write in an informative and engaging style, always include comparison table, ordered and unordered list, and always write in markdown. Okay, so make sure that you're increasing your maximum length all the way, and we're gonna be using GPT-4. Now let's go ahead and write our content. Okay, so now the article has completed generating, and it looks pretty good just from a bird's eye view. Let's go ahead and copy this because it is in markdown format. 
So if you wanted to actually change it to a format that's much more readable, just use the free markdown to HTML converter. And we're going to paste in the new content that we got from ChatGPT. And as you can see here, we have a nice intro about headphones. We get a comparing product specs um, table that compares the various brands and products with their pricing. And I've went ahead and looked over our information and it's all correct. So we're getting all um, correct information here. And that's kind of the risk that you run. If you just went ahead and ran this on ChatGPT, you definitely could, but you're not entirely sure if the prices are updated because they may have increased the pricing for that specific product. So as you can see here, this is all up-to-date information. You wouldn't have to worry about it being false or incorrect, and you don't have to proofread it as much if you just were to use GPT-4. Um, below that, you have the individual product analysis, which talks about the specific headphones. And then below that, we have a sound quality comparison. We have a comfort and design comparison, battery life and connectivity comparison, additional features and extras. And then we have a final verdict below that, which talks about the best value for money, best for active noise cancellation, best for long battery life and most affordable options. So again, a really, really in-depth and very high quality blog post because we can see it's including information that's all correct. In terms of word count, it's about 833 words, which is a little bit low for my liking. So a prompt in which you can do is you can actually go ahead and tell it to keep the same format, keep the same style, keep all of the tables, just expand the blog post paragraphs for this article and GPT-4 will be able to do that for you. But obviously keep in mind that this would increase your token cost because again, it's gonna take all that information and then um, spit you out another article. In terms of cost, this was about 0.14, so about 14 cent um, for that article, which is not bad by any means. And I believe it's because we didn't really fill the system with too many, too much information. We just filled it with information and then we had it um, generate the article for us. But essentially, that's how you use Harpa AI to extract important information from Amazon listings and then plug that into ChatGPT to write you engaging blog post. Also, I am offering a blog writing service where I will write you a blog post for completely free. So if you like me to write a blog post, it can be an Amazon Roundup blog post or any um, topic that you have in mind. I will give you one free sample. And then if you like the service, you can go ahead and get a paid plan. For more details, check out the link in the description below this video. As always, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I'll see you in the next one.